Check this out. This is a map of some of the battery manufacturing facilities coming online in the US. And as you can see, they're mostly over here. See, as America tries to rapidly increase its battery manufacturing capacity, it's creating what some are calling America's battery belt. But the decisions around where to build these factories is moving America's automotive heartland further south, and redistributing thousands of jobs in the process. So what are the key factors shaping where America's battery belt is? Let's find out. Okay, so first we need to explore why so many battery factories are being built in America right now. See, some battery factories have been slowly coming online in the US for years. But things stepped up a gear when Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act, which requires a certain percentage of a vehicle's battery be made in America for it to qualify for federal incentives. Spending on US battery factories quadrupled between 2019 and 2022, with some $70 billion of investments for batteries and auto manufacturing being announced over the last two years. And more than 15 new battery factories or expansions have been announced since the start of 2021. So why are they mostly over here? Well, given that batteries are heavy things to ship, the obvious place to build battery factories may seem to be right next to an automotive plant, as proximity can reduce transportation snarls. That's partly why some of the new factories are in a similar area to existing auto factories. But proximity is far from the only factor deciding where these factories should go, as my colleague Nora Eckhart has been finding out. The center of gravity for the automotive industry has traditionally been in the Midwest around Michigan uh, specifically, and over time that has shifted into the American South. And that's that's been expedited with this EV building boom. Nora has been chatting to site selectors, essentially the people who decide where these factories should go. One key factor is connectivity to transport networks like railways, which are far more prevalent in the east of America. For a battery plant or for an EV assembly plant, access to railway and ports is key. That may explain why these factories are in the east of America, but why the move south? So battery plants and EV assembly plants require a lot of electricity and more than your traditional gas engine plant. So the lower electricity costs in some areas of the south compared to, say, Michigan, make that a lot more attractive for automakers. But perhaps the main factor pushing these factories south is whether the sites are turnkey, essentially shovel-ready sites with connected utilities just waiting to be developed on. You still have to build up the facility itself and, and bring in the workers, but as long as you've got that base set up, it becomes really attractive for, for potential automakers. Georgia says it spent years prepping project sites to attract car companies, with its Commissioner for Economic Development saying, I feel like we are right now riding that wave. All of that has meant that about two-thirds of the new auto investment announced over the past two years has gone down here to sites in the US South. So what does this mean for America's automotive heartland of Michigan and the Great Lakes? I think a big question for a lot of people in the, in the industry is about Michigan's future and if it's losing its power in the automotive industry. If anything, we're just seeing the industry become a little more broadly dispersed across the US instead of localized just in the Michigan area. But even with this race to build factories, the shift won't happen overnight. That's because as early movers in US battery manufacturing have found, it can take years to train workers and adapt machinery to get a factory fully operational. So even though the groundwork is being laid now, it still might take a few years for America's battery belt to truly form. 